I got marsh duty anyway this morning. Gotta see if any freaks are stuck in the muck out that way. When's the last time you went up there? Been a few years, I guess. When I was a boy, we used to live in that damn cave. My old man sort of fancied himself a geologist. Sounds like we got a couple. Freaks stuck in the mud, I mean. Yeah, sounds like. Here, let me take care of them. All right. I guess I can let you do that. Nice work. I think Schizo's just found a new man for the job. You know what Schizo can go do. Anyway, as I was saying, I spent hours talking about how all these caves were formed when lava flows would harden on the outside, but the molten cores would still flow like buried rivers. You got the big caves that drew in the tourists, like Metolius up there, and there's way more than that, riddled all over these parts. Okay, okay, we're coming up on the highway, we gotta be quiet. You brought me out of here? You smell a bunch of goddamn freaks? Yeah. Okay, okay. Come on, follow him. Wait, wait, wait. Follow him? Where the hell are we going? You'll see. Come on. Don't get too close. Stay down. Just what the hell are we doing, Deke? This doesn't seem all that smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Hold up, hold up. You remember telling me about how the tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? Yeah. In July, folks smelled almost as bad as these here freaks. Well, you weren't wrong about one thing. These freaks, the big groups, the ones that some call hordes, I think they're the reason we can't get their numbers down. What do you mean? Think about it, man. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Boozer too. Ricky, and Schizo, a few others. How many freaks do you think I killed? A few. A few. Yeah, but their numbers never go down. You got a point? It's these whores. Every night, there's a steady stream of them up and down the Sandium Highway. Thousands of freaks pouring into the Lost Lake Valley, north of the Cascades. And you think they're coming up from California? Highway's closed off. No one's been south of the Santium Pass in years. It's not closed off to the hordes. Freaks are the reason it's closed off. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. Well, you got that much right. Lost more than a few men trying to back in the day. Yeah, I know. I was there. And every horde that comes through leaves a few stragglers or gets busted up and scatters and, and just like that freaks everywhere as far as the eye can see. You don't need to see them to know that they're around. We figure out a way to stop the hordes coming through. Maybe we can make some headway, reduce their numbers. Make it safer. Free up more farmland, irrigation. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do that? You know goddamn well you can't take on a, a, a whatever you call it, a, a horde? This is how. I'll be goddamn. Yeah. They stand there all day, hibernating or whatever the hell freaks do. So, what are you thinking that we. Yep. Blow it the hell up. Stick it down to my there, there, and there. We'll bring down a mountain of rock. We seal this shit up. Yeah, so we trap a few hundred inside. What good is that gonna no, do? No, you don't get it. We seal this cave. Maybe they don't got no place to sleep. Or maybe this trail of piss and shit dries out, goes stale, and other stuff coming. Yeah. All right. All right. You got my attention. Okay, come on. Let's head back. All right, my knees are warmed up a bit. Let's see if you can keep up. Yeah, okay. Tell me, when does being out in the shit make you an expert on freaks? You spend your spare time just following them around, seeing what makes them tick? Not exactly. 
And how do you know about all this? About what a horde's gonna do, where they sleep? A few days ago, I was riding north of Belknap Crater when a chopper flew by. A chopper? What the hell? Just listen to me. It was a black chopper. One of those Nero choppers that used to fly all over the goddamn place when the shit was going down. And you saw one. Still I followed them. I stole one of their radios. I've been trying to track them down, see if they have a base around here. Supplies. Shit, I mean, see if the feds are still alive. You know what I'm saying? They're out here doing field work of some kind on the freaks. They're studying them. They got resources to do that. I followed them up to the Grotto Caves. You know the ones? Yeah. They had motion sensors set up, measuring how many freaks used the cave during the day, and, uh, Mike, it was thousands. That right. They said freaks all up and down the Cascade Range, south of Crater Lake and north up to Smith Rock, all used these lava tube caves to hibernate. So, we blew up those caves. Maybe we have a few less to deal with. Hey, this idea of yours, it's got some merit, but a job like that, it's gonna take a fair amount of TNT. He said you wanted help making Lost Lake safer, this is how we do it. <sighs> All right. All right, look, there's some things I gotta do, okay? But you meet me at the bridge in a couple of minutes. I know where we can find some. Hey John, you were supposed to be up at the farm an hour ago. My guy said he's got a shovel waiting for you. Yeah, Schizo, about that, I'm busy. See, Iron Mike and I, we're just heading out on a run. You and Iron Mike, you'll get your ass up that way today. Or you and your gimp boyfriend are gonna find yourselves out in the shit, you hear me? Without a goddamn battle! Yeah, yeah, I'll get right on that. St. John out. St. John, what can I do for you? Ready? Where are we headed? This time you're gonna have to trust me! Okay, where are we going? You know what they used to mine all around these parts? Yeah, uh, mercury or something. That's right, cinnabar. They extracted mercury from cinnabar. Folks back east think it was gold mines out here and silver. Not so. Back in the early 1900s, cinnabar was worth more than gold. To operate the mine, you need TNT for expansion, blowing out new tunnels, clearing cave-ins, that sort of shit. And to own TNT, you had to register with the county. Keep copies of the keys to all your lockboxes with the commissioner. Wait, the county courthouse? Where the hell is that? I thought you knew! It's in the old federal building. The old federal building? The one in Sherman's camp! Jesus, Mike! What the hell? You told me... You, you told me that you were never setting foot in that place again. Did I? I don't recall. You were drunk right after Joe was killed. Did I tell you why? No! Here! Turn right! Here! This is it! Mike. The place is gonna be crawling out. I don't think this is a good idea. Uh, weather holds will be safe enough. All right. That there? It's the old federal building. That's where we're headed. Let's not go looking for trouble. Stay out of the buildings. Come on. We gotta head over this way. Where are we headed? Just follow me. Key will be on the commissioner. And, and you know where he is? You, where his body is? Yeah, I think I do. You heard what happened here. Yeah, 
Everybody got wiped out, man, woman, and child. Only a few got out, and, and uh, you, you were one of them, right? Only two got out. Me and Nora. But it wasn't the freaks that took us out. What do you mean? Here. left after all and how well, they oh hell you can see what they did like I said two people walked out of this town after all was said and done and some days the hell one of them wasn't me. Commissioner's over there in the bean counter suit. Go get the key so we can get the hell out of here. You didn't give a damn about sealing the caves. You brought me here because... You, you brought me here because you wanted me to see this. Not true. All right, you got the key. We're going to go get the maps to those mines, just like I said, and we're going to get more than enough TNT to seal every cave in the valley. Bullshit. You are right about one thing. I'm not sorry you've seen it. Not following you, Mike. I am talking about the war that's coming. With the Rippers. The one that Schizo's so hot for. You think he cares how many die on either side? Never mind. Come on. Let's get this done. Here's the door. The place is locked up. Okay. All right, this is it. Now we got maps to every mine in the county showing where they stored their dynamite. Okay, come on. Hear that? Yeah. Were well, you expecting anyone? Nope. Do you have my back here? Hey, I don't like starting trouble, but... Finish it if I have to. Stay behind me. Hey, I can take care of myself. I'm not saying you can't, but remember the last time that we were out in the shit. Yeah, like I said, I'm staying behind you. Yeah, come on. 
keep it up, old man. Oh, yeah. Jesus, what a mess! Now you know why no one goes into Sherman's camp. Eddie finds out you're out here risking your ass like this, she's gonna be pissed! How would she find out about something like that? Not from me. Me to see that shit. You know, Dick, I always saw a bit of myself in you back in the day. How's that? You don't give a shit. Oh, you care about your friend. Don't want to see him die, but me? Any other goddamn person on the planet? I don't think so. Caring will just get you killed. Yeah, that's right. Thing is, not caring will get you killed just as easy. Good folks of Sherman Camp did was stop caring about anyone but themselves and their own. Easy to kill a man when he's just some piece of meat standing between you and what you need. Schizo wants to kill whippers because he don't think they're human anymore. They don't count. They're standing in the way of what he wants. Well, I don't buy into that shit. I won't have... You know... Schizo, he, uh, he wonders why I'm a pacifist. That's, you know, that's what he likes to call me. He, uh, he thinks I'm gonna get everybody killed. Well, are you, Mike? Are you gonna get everyone killed? The freaks aren't gonna be around forever. Now, when they're gone, we're gonna need some folks around here to help pick up the pieces. Hey, look, hey, hey. I don't like Carlos and his rippers any more than I like Tucker or, or, or Copeland and his, his, his goddamn truthers. All right, but here, look. Here's the thing, Deke. I'm not going out of my way to kill any of them. I've had my share of killing. Even if Carlos comes for you, My truce will hold. You can bet on that. I saw Boozer the other day. Your friend, right? Man, I, that's pretty messed up what happened to him. See you later, man. I agree with Schizo. The Rippers, they ain't human. Not anymore. I can fill your bike up. Probably need it. Sure. All right. See you around.
This is Lost Lake. Come in. Yeah, Mike. This is Pete. I heard you brought in Shane Riley, but when I went to the shack to question him, he wasn't there. Uh, yeah. Uh, about that, Mike. I tried to bring him in. I really did, but he, uh, well, put up a hell of a fight. So he didn't leave me much choice, Mike. He did. Yeah, Mike, I remember. Lost Lake out. Thanks, Rocky. Oh, Brian, I'm at one of your beacons. The one outside of Rogue Camp. St. John, I mean, uh, copy that. Why am I here? I show, uh, Hilo incoming to that location now. Be ready. O'Brien out. Uh, psh. That's why I'm here. St. John, they should have arrived at your location. Do you see them? Yeah, yeah, kind of hard to miss. What do you need me to do? Get close to the researcher. Remember, you have to stay in their proximity or I can't intercept their data. Okay, yeah, I, I need the it. area secured now. And this right, time, I need you to plant one of those trackers on the one. Okay, I gotta place a tracker okay, on that chopper. Squad, and, check uh, in. It's just kind of clear. Down. All clear. Yeah, let them see me. Yep, clear. So what the hell are you boys doing? Area's huh? locked in. I think you can stop and fill up at the old Peltro gas station. In case you didn't see it, the sign says gas low. Seems like a lot of freaks around the road. I'm guessing you guys yeah. don't got that problem, do you? Got it. Well, Brian, the tracker's set. You should be getting the Hurry. Now 2060. We've now completed the survey of 24 nesting sites, including those at Marion Forks, the Pioneer Cemetery, the Cascade Highway Lumber Site, Truck stop on the old Belknap Road. What, what was that called again? Ah, oh, Crazy Willies. Yes, very rustic and touristy. Some things about the old world I don't miss. A Crazy Willies, south of the Belknap Crater. I got a question, Doc. Sure, it's not like I'm busy or anything. The nests. Why do they build them? We don't know. Why do they only build them in, you know, buildings, structures, cabins, things like that? We have a theory that. I mean, we never see them or wild animals. Sorry. The guys back in the lab have a theory. I'm sure when they're ready to talk about it, they'll come rushing down to the barracks to let you know. Jesus. Just ask it. I see things too, you know. It wasn't always a grunt, you know. Can I continue? Sure. South of Belknap Crater. Did you hear Some that? areas of the Belknap Wilderness were not surveyed due to the proximity of nesting sites to human encampments. In particular, a large camp at Salome Hot Springs. Yeah. Salome, on Herod's birthday, she danced before them, whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. She said, give me the head of John the Baptist, and the king was struck sad. Quite the name for a resort. Oh, shit. Again, some things about the old world I don't miss. Upload complete. Yeah. The Bible? Now they're reciting Bible. O'Brien. O'Brien, are you there? I can't talk right now. I'll be on this channel later. Out. 
O'Brien. Oh, God damn it. I'm getting tired of being your errand boy, O'Brien. I'll see if I can make time peeking out. Might be useful. Hey, this is Cope. How's it going? I've got a job for you. Cope, hey. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'll see if I can uh, make time peeking out. Hey, uh, okay. Yeah, I'll check it. Check it
Oh, here we go. So, uh, I took Boozer into the Lost Lake camp, and... I know. <laughs> I know. I told you I was never going back there with Iron Mike threatening to break my neck and all, but... Didn't have a choice. See, Boozer... Boozer was gonna die, and, uh... Well, he still didn't want to go. Hell, I didn't want to go, but... Like I said, didn't have a choice. Neither of us did, so it didn't matter. He, um... He lost the arm anyway, and... And now he's stuck. I mean, we're stuck. Goddamn schizo. You know, I can't remember if I told you about this clown, but he's the kind of asshole that's glad all this shit went down. <laughs> he says he was uh, gangbanging in Sacramento and Fresno. I don't remember, but he says he's not from around here, and he's, he's not. Claims he was dealing drugs and guns from California to Oregon, and then everything went to hell. And you know what? I think he's full of shit. To me, he kind of looks like a frat boy, like he was on the lacrosse team peddling sodas at a mini mart. Or, no, 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 man. He would have <laughs> he would have had a cushy job at his old man's accounting firm making copies and getting everyone their morning coffee. You know, making more in a day than I've ever made in a week. You know, it's this game that Boozer and I used to play before we rode out of Lost Lake for good. We used to call it, uh, Who You Were. You know, we'd look at someone, we'd try to guess who they were before the shit went down, you know. You know, I met a few drug addicts, a lot of ex-cons, uh, no accountants. So, that makes sense if you think about it. First couple of weeks after the shit went down, I mean, Jesus, that was a freak show. There's no way some accountant or pencil pusher lived through that shit, so I don't know, maybe because I was telling the truth. <sighs> I'm not sorry that you missed it. I'm not. Anyway, Boozer and I wanted to head north and get away from all this shit, but... That, that ain't happening anytime soon, or, or happening ever. Uh, hey, <laughs> look on the bright side. Looks like you're uh, stuck with me. Okay, I'll stop by later. See you. Someone's here. It's just Deacon. So, uh, a couple months ago, we were up by crazy. How's it going, brother? No, Deke. 
I don't know about you, but uh, I could use a hand. Uh, <laughs> you lay down. Thanks, ma'am. He can't have visitors just yet, but uh, I could really use a hand. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc, Doc, seriously, though. Um, will I be able to play piano after all this is over? Very funny, William. Lay down. <laughs> okay. I can play chopsticks. No, seriously, I could. I'd be like... <laughs> As you can see, he's going to be just fine. His fever's completely gone. Good, that's good. All right, well, I gotta go take care Deacon, of some shit. like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Boozer doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey, I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. Seems like he's uh, getting better. He ran, he stole two bags of seed. Deke, we need those seeds. Ah, shit. We need to know where he sold them or stashed them. You're making my day a lot more comp. Oh, shit, there he is. Fuck this man! Come on! You hear me? Oh, I'm gonna get away. Where are you going? Can't get away! No, why? Before he ran, he stole two bags of seed. Deke, we need those seeds. Ah, shit. We need to know where he sold them or stashed them. You're making my day a lot more complicated. Okay, fine. I'll chase him down. Deacon out. Okay, let's see. What's going on here? Back on track. Oh, shit, there he is. You 
How's it going, Lynch man? What, is the camp not feeding you well enough? Fuck you! Thought you just kill a couple guys right off with our shit? Don't matter if a bunch of folks here die of starvation because you got what you need, right? <laughs> Get off of me, you son of a bitch! Hey, 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 listen to me. Rick is gonna send some men for you. You tell them where you stash the seeds, maybe they'll just shoot you, you know, instead of hanging you slow. What do you think about that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about! Okay, man, suit yourself. Hey, hey Ricky, here. I got him, and I'll uh, send you his position. Fight. Send someone out here to pick me. him up. No, no, I didn't see him. All right. We'll bring him in. Boss Lake out. See you, Lynch man. Hey, D. Hey, I got a job for you. You got a job for me? Yeah. There's a bunch of dead freaks. The west of the footbridge stuck in the muck. I need someone to pull them out and take them to the burn pile. Got it? Marsh duty. Yeah. Get someone else. I'm busy. Hey, I'm getting you to do it. I don't know what Mike told you on your little field trip, but we got work to do. Here. Hey, 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 hey. Schizo. He can't come with you. He's coming with me. Last I checked, I wasn't talking to you. Well, I checked in with Mike. I gotta go into the shit, and he's coming with me. All right? Like I said, I'm busy. And when you get back, you come find me. You coming? Where? Doesn't matter. Seriously, where are we headed? North. Ricky, I don't have time for your crap any more than schizos. Come on, I'll show you. Mike told me what you did. I didn't do anything. About how if we seal the caves here, we can stop the hordes? Never said it would stop them. Maybe slow them down. <laughs> Look, are you going somewhere with this? Yeah. I just thought that maybe you decided to stay. I mean, not just because of Boozer, but because you wanted to help. Is that what you thought? Hey, back in the day, I did my share of runs. You did, but never anything more than that, and you know it. So now you're helping Iron Mike seal the caves? What did you want me to think? A few weeks back, we lost a man when this went down, shutting down the infirmary's respirator. Respirator? Oh, God, Ricky, look around. If you're on a respirator out of here, you're already dead. What if it had been Boozer? Yeah, that's what I thought. See, we haven't had power for almost two years, but the Transformers and the lines, they all check out. Well, at least they do here. I want to ride up north, check out the hydro dam, just to see why it's shut down. Oh no, riding escort, that's Schizo's job. I don't need an escort. You lived up there, you know the area better than anyone. Deacon, you asked for my help, right? Now I'm asking for yours. Shit. Okay, good. I'm gonna go grab some of the guys nope. that can ride- No, you're not. Now we're going in quiet. We're running to Copeland's men. I can handle them, but that wilderness up there is crawling with rippers and scumbags and God knows what else. More men, you know what that means? That means more attention. No, uh-uh, no, we're doing this my way. Shit. Fine, okay, let's go. Look, Ricky, uh, I gotta ask you. The other night, uh, I made infirmary. Would I have shot you in the face? No. Really? Oh. From the look in your face, you... I would have taken you outside first and then shot you in the face. <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't, you know, want to get blood all over the infirmary. Uh-huh, exactly.
If we get an early start, we can get back before dark. As long as nothing goes wrong. <laughs> well, what can go wrong? Following you. Just follow the route that I marked on your map. There's some marauder camps up there we want to stay away from. Yeah, got it. So how did you end up out here? I never asked you. Same as everyone, I guess. When shit went down, I was a hundred miles from home. By the time I got back, everyone was gone. Where are you from? I grew up in a little town outside of Portland. Would work in the city, couch surf, go home on weekends. Big city. Yeah, right. Only in Oregon. What was it like over there? I mean, how did you, uh, how did you get out? I don't know. Luck, I guess. Roads were backed up all the way down the coast. One giant parking lot. Well, that Valley was a war zone. Everything happened so fast. I, I, I told my friends to get out when I left. I don't think they listened to me. I, uh, I heard they nuked it. Portland? Yeah, I, I heard that too. Don't think it's true. We'd be feeling the fallout, right? Yeah. So, uh, you and Addie. You got a problem? Me? No. Come on. I just, I didn't know. You rode with us a long time. I guess it, uh, I guess it never came up. I was like you. Seemed like, uh, I don't know, keeping your distance was just a good way to stay alive. Uh, okay, look, I shouldn't have asked. None of my business. That's why I'm at the camp. You know, chance to live a normal life again. Good luck with that. It's nothing serious. Me and Addie? Didn't look that way to me. Yeah, well, things happen fast these days. You know what I mean? Didn't ask. I wanted to tell you something. Shoot. I, uh... Look, I appreciate you going to bat for me. Uh, for me and Boozer. With Iron Mike, I mean. Wow, you are getting soft. Fuck off. You never thank me for anything. Yeah, well, maybe I never had any reason to. Okay. So where did you and Iron Mike go the other day? Wait, you said that he already told you about it. He was pretty tight-lipped. I've known Iron Mike a long time. To be honest, I don't think I've ever seen him so, I don't know, depressed. Where'd you go? Sherman's camp. I heard that place was a freak show. It is, but we didn't have much of a choice. I, uh, I had an idea about sealing the caves to keep the hordes from coming through. He knew where the mining claims office was. We picked up some maps. He's going to track down some explosives. Your radio must be broken. Almost sounded like you volunteered for some shit. I'm riding with you now, aren't I? Jesus. You just wanted out of march duty. Okay, you got me. So what happened? Something happened. Nothing, Ricky. Nothing happened. You didn't say anything? Just no. No. Nothing happened. And no, I like, didn't say anything. Like you said, he's a pretty tight-lipped guy. All right, dam's coming up. Take it slow near the gate. No idea who or what might be living there. Got it. Looks clear. Are you expecting trouble? Yeah, always. And if we run into any, we're gone. All right, come on. I want to check the outflow. Where are you going? Down here. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, this isn't right. There should be more water flowing out right there. Yeah? Yeah, and you hear that? What? what? Exactly. If the turbines were running, you'd be able to hear the hum of the lines from here. Mm. Oh. What happened there? What? Oh. Same thing that happened to all the bridges. Smart men in uniforms decided blowing them up would keep the hordes from coming in. Hordes of refugees or hordes of freaks? Oh, you figure men like Copeland? Probably both. Hmm. All right, come on, I want to check something out.
Come here, touch this. Come on. Okay. Hmm. You feel anything? No. Exactly. If more water was flowing, the turbines would be vibrating. Come on. Up this way. We're going all the way up to the top, up there. Following you. See these pipes? They're called the penstock. Water pressure builds up from the reservoir and is pushed down through those pipes, concentrating the force of the flow, which goes right through to the turbines. How the hell do you know all this stuff? I had two older brothers who were always fixing cars and shit with my dad. He got me a job at Boeing when I was only 17. I was going to school part-time to become a mechanical engineer when shit went down. Did you ever see him again? Your dad, brothers? No. Come on, over here. All right, let's figure this out. <clears throat> well, this is gonna be fun. So now wait, oh, oh. wait, what's, go what's going on? What are you doing? We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, I never saw you volunteer for anything. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. So, I'm up. <clears throat> oh, but you can stand and watch. Okay. No, oh, it's never, never. Let's go. Yeah. It's, it's pretty mucked up. I think I can clear it, though. Run back down to the turbine. See if it's vibrating at all. Feel that vibration? Yeah, but the power lines are still dead. What? Man, oh, it couldn't be that easy, right? All right, come on, let's check out the transformers. So, uh, y your dad and your brothers, what happened to them? I don't know. On my way back, I tried calling over and over. I always got a busy signal. By the time I reached the house, it was deserted. The entire neighborhood was deserted. There were flyers everywhere, evacuation orders. I went to the closest refugee camp, but it was overrun. Everyone was dead. Freaks were everywhere. Jesus, Ricky, I'm, I'm real sorry. Yeah, it was a long time ago. But these are the ones feeding the lines going south. All right, any idea what's wrong with them? No, not a clue. Okay. Well, it might be a short in the turbine junction boxes, so let's just go down and check it out. Okay? All right. So, uh, what's with you and Schizo? I mean, it seems like you're always on the verge of ripping his throat out. Eddie and I caught him hiding outside our cabin while What? He's a peeping Tom. I told him if it happened again, he'd find out that my gun is bigger than his. Jesus. You know, if Addie was there, Schizo probably wasn't looking at you. It was all I could do to stop her from neutering the bastard. Ouch. Right? Never piss off a woman who knows how to use this cap. Here, 
Boost me up. Okay. Okay, got it. There. Here, I got the gate. Come on. Junction room's right around here. Oh, God, what is that smell? Freaker nest. I'm the smell of it more than a couple. Stay close. How many Molotovs you got with you? Enough. Okay. Remember the drill. You light them up, I knock them down. It's been a while, but I've remembered. Burn it down. Here I come! Ready. More up here. You good? Yeah. They really don't like visitors much, do they? Well, can you blame them? Whew. Well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today, I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. Power to the people. <laughs> All right. Let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. This is it. You ready? Yep. Uh, yes! Houston, we have power. Nice work. Oh, I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, let's find something to block the door and I don't want to have to come back up here every month to clean this shit out. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to be here in a month? What? No, I, I don't know. Would you just... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Deep. Come on. So, why'd you ask about my dad and my brothers? Uh, I don't know. You just, uh, you never mentioned him before, so, uh, you know, I'm sorry if I, if it's, uh, something you didn't want to talk about. No, it's fine. In fact, it reminded me of something I wanted to ask you, back when we were riding together. Okay, Ricky, Ricky, not now. You can ask me later. But, no, hey, hey! Hey, you never asked, uh, why I stopped riding with you and Boozer. Was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. God, Ricky, do we gotta do this now? We had been riding together for, I, I don't remember, a couple months. <laughs> Deep on. This? Okay. Okay. There was this one night, and I remember it really clearly. <clears throat> it was snowing outside, and... Boozer was snoring. Remember how he used to snore? I swear, I thought <laughs> he was going to bring a horde down on us, yeah, well, right? Yeah, pretty much hasn't changed. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> he thought everyone was asleep, and you were sitting outside by yourself like you always did, and you were staring at something. You didn't sleep the whole night. Let me see the photo, Deke. Come on, please. This is when I knew. What'd you know, Ricky? That I didn't want to end up like so many of us here. We're trapped in the past or running from it. I, I just, I want to look forward. Okay, not back. This isn't what you think it is, okay? Get low! Get on the back! Find them! 
Are you sure it's them? I saw the mark on his back. We're from Lost Lake Cab. Iron Mike has a treaty. Well, that was a really good idea. You want to try that again? Stay put. Yeah? How long you been a camper? I can't some shit. Oh, you assholes are kind of far from home, aren't you? Find a shithole you crawled out from! Far north, aren't you? Huh? You don't want to get too far away from Carlos, do you? Leave you here to bleed out, huh? Make all the freaks out here happy, yeah? Huh? Isn't that what you want? I'll just go straight to hell! Oh, yeah, nice. Back in the day, dealt with a few tweakers who acted like that. I think they're on PCP or whatever that other shit is. Uh, uh, bath salts. Remember? That was becoming a thing before everything went down. Right, yeah. Come on, let's see if they messed up our bikes. Really think that Iron Mike's treaty with these bastards is gonna hold? I don't know. Fucking rippers after what they did to Boozer's arm. After what they did to Dick! Lisa? What? This was clutched in one of their hands. What happened? Did you guys have a run-in, you and Boozer, with, with the Rippers, before you stole the antibiotics? Well, I... I don't know. Look, whatever Carlos thinks I did, ain't gonna compare to what I'm gonna do to him if I ever see the son of a bitch. Come on, let's go. Anti-aircraft guns. Big guns. Yeah. 
really big fucking guns. Our Humvee exploded, went over a cliff, right into the Hari. You know how hard it is to drown in Afghanistan? It's hard. The place is one giant goddamn desert. Anyway, I was thrown clear, and when I came to, the, the Humvee was upside down in the river. I swam out to see if anyone survived. I, uh, I pulled the body back to shore, and I did that seven more times. And by the, by the time I pulled in Tanner, my Sarge, I was done. And when I came home, I don't know, I, uh, I bought a bike, spent a couple of years on the road, just moving from place to place, and, uh... To farewell, you grew up around here, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, so by the time I finally settled down, I got a job at a bike shop run by this, by this old guy named Jack. And uh, he ran the club, the, uh, well, the press, that's what he used to call him. He patched me in himself. Wait, Jack, I remember Boozer talking about him. He was in prison or something. Some bad shit went down and, and he ended up taking the rap for the club. Sounds like you guys were pretty tight. Let's come back in the morning. You can get whatever tools you need and we'll finish it up then. There'll be fewer freaks out. So no hot shower tonight? Okay, but I want to show you something first. Well, Ricky, it's been a long day. Come on, you know a lot about the freaks. I just want to show you something you might not know. Come on, we're out here anyway. Shit, okay. Let's go. Can I ask you something? I've got, like I said before, could I stop you? I don't know what you mean. I mean, why do you still wear the cuts? You and Boozer, it's, it's not like you're trying to recruit anymore or, or staking out territory. No. A couple of guys I worked with at the plant wore colors on the weekend. I asked them about it once. They said they wore them as a way of saying, fuck you, to, I don't know, the cops, authority, the government. So what are you rebelling against? Whatever's left. Look, you wear them because we wear them. What you want? I mean, no idea about Boozer, but I ain't trying to say shit. It's just... Cut? That's who I am. I've done a lot of stupid shit in my life, but joining the MC, well... Let's just say that it's one of the few things that I don't... Ricky... What are we doing here? I've seen the Nero death trains before, and hordes. I know. Not like this. What the fuck? Watch. I've come out here a few times to see them. They stay in those old machine buildings, and they come out every night like someone's ringing a dinner bell, right? When it's morning, they go back inside and what? Hibernate? You mean you never went down there to see? Aha. Uh -huh. No. One time I got way too close, and a dozen of them started chasing me. It's like poking a hornet's nest. Come on, let's get out of here. It's getting dark. Okay. Okay, anyway, the other day, I, uh, I saw something you won't believe. Hey, where the hell have you been all day? Nice to see you, too. Yeah, well, Schizo said you and Deacon took off, and I was worried. Addy, I'm tired, okay? Oh, that's rich. Hey, Deacon, thank you. 
Yeah, well, just let me know when you're ready to tackle that transformer. I'll be around. Sure. It's bullshit. What is your problem? No, no! What is your problem? I just said I'm tired. That's it. Okay. I'm sorry. Like I said, I, w I was worried. It's not like you to just take off without talking to me. Okay. So that's it? Hey, uh, I gotta ask you, I heard you riding in last night with Ricky, and, uh, who's that guy? Boozer. His name is William, or Bill. I've always just called him Boozer. Don't ask why. I wasn't... I mean, is he gonna be okay? I stopped by to say hi to Addy. He didn't look so good. Yeah, he's gonna be fine as soon as he's patched up. We're riding north, you got that? So just drop it, okay? Yep, that's nice. Here you go. Yeah, that's a day I'm never getting back. Oh, hey, look at that. Too late for marsh duty. Yeah, well, it's too bad, huh? Schizo. Oh, schizo, schizo. Speaking of schizo, I wonder what the hell he did all day. <laughs> Fuck. Hmm, that should work. Um, okay. Okay, then. <laughs> Don't be such a stranger. Send some men to go out the gap. Yeah, he's a lot more cooperative all of a sudden. Evidently, our guys got to him just before a swarm. They offered to leave him where he was if he didn't tell him where the seeds were. Oh, so weird. <laughs> you know, I, I really would have just left him there to rot. O'Brien, I'm at one of your beacons, the one near Camp Creek. Uh, there's nothing here. Hold on. Uh, okay. A field op should be there any minute. You know the drill. O'Brien out. Yeah, I know the drill. Try not to get my ass shot off while being your goddamn peeping Tom. St. John out. This is O'Brien. Are you there? 
Yeah, so what was that all about? I mean, last time we talked, it sounded like you were pissing your hazmat suit. It's nothing. Like I told you there are people above me who don't want us to know what's going on. And I got too close. I need to hear your now. You know what? I don't give a shit. All I want from you is information on the center. Whitaker, I've got someone working on it. It's... it's gonna take time. I guess you have to be patient. Do I? This research group isn't part of my unit, so I can't track them after this op. is that some freaks get up in the morning, they shower, they get dressed, they put on their favorite gold watch, they kiss their wife goodbye, and then they head out the door for one day eating Drifter on and shitting themselves. Code two, everyone. Why the hell are these guys wasting their time with this shit? What? <sighs> Hope you got all that, O'Brien. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here. O'Brien, are you there? O'Brien! I planted your tracking device and I got your data. The researcher, were they male or female? What? What? Yeah, Why? I'm starving. Was it a man or a woman? 
Uh, it was a woman, and no, I didn't catch her name. Okay. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Hey Ricky, you there? Yeah. I'm uh, I'm gonna be gone for a while. I'm gonna need you to cover for me. Skiz is gonna wonder why I'm not out on marsh duty or whatever the hell. Hey Deke, what's up? Oozers, uh. Hell, I don't know. He's he's depressed or something. Talk to Addy. I think I know a way to cheer him up. So what are you gonna do? Oh, uh, I thought I'd maybe head to O'Leary Mountain, get his bike, bring it back. That's a long way to go on foot. I'll we'll figure right. something out. Are, are you gonna cover for me? Or Deke, a group of men rode in, shot up the gate, and when we wouldn't let him in, they rode off. Ah, shit. Which direction? Yeah, uh, they headed west, but they didn't go far. They set up camp just north of Eden Hill. I think they might be planning another attack, so I need you to take a look. <sighs> okay, right. Yeah, I'll handle it. Thanks, Deke. See what I can do. You here to buy something? How's it going, Buzz? All right, I got you. Okay. Oh, hey, my bad. See you around, I Buzz. Simon to the rescue. Right. Never mind. Hey, my bad. You there? I'm uh, I'm gonna be gone for a while. I'm gonna need you to cover me. This kid is gonna wonder why I'm not out on marsh duty or whatever the hell. Hey, Deke. What's up? Boozers, uh, what the hell? He's, he's depressed or something. Talk to Addy. I think I know a way to cheer him up. So, what are you gonna do? Uh, I thought I'd maybe head to O'Leary Mountain. Ricky, I'm near Eden Hill. Yeah, Drifter's still here. Can you handle it? Well, I guess we'll know soon enough. Deacon out. Something's not right here. All right, gentlemen, I thought you'd just swing by, shoot up the place. Nah, I just think it's time you move along. Come on. 
You could do better than that. How many you got left? Is that it? No. Oh shit! One more. Okay. One of the camps can use this. Done. They won't be shooting up any more camps. Oof, thank God. I'll let Iron Mike know. You know, keep this up and you and Mike are gonna be best friends before you know it. Bye. Deke, heard you track down Eric Lynch. Oh yeah, Mike. I found him. I want to thank you for not you killing the man. Huh? We're gonna have a trial. You'll get a chance to tell his side of it. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, too bad Campbell and Reed aren't allowed to tell their side. Hey, we got folks that'll be there. Hey, I brought you something. Wait, what the fuck? You, you went up and got my bike? Well, I didn't want Cope getting it, parting it out. Jesus, Dick. Hey, I mean, I mostly did it, you know, in case I need parts. It's not like your gimp ass is gonna need them. Shit. Thanks, brother. That's the one thing I miss. Riding on the open road. Addie just wanted me to tell you that she paid some men to go get your bike and bring it back. It's over at the mechanic shop. Oh, wait, what? You're welcome, Deke. Ricky out. Good to see you, Deke. How's it going, Buzz? Found him. I want to thank you for not killing the man. We're gonna have a trial. You'll get a chance to tell his side of it. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, too bad Campbell and Reed aren't allowed to tell their side. Hey, we got folks that'll be there speaking on their behalf, and we got witnesses. It's the way. St. John, I got a bounty job for you. I'm listening. You're looking for Ned Walker. Where's a red scarf? 
He and his crew came to the gate the other night. We wouldn't let him in. He killed one of my guards, then took off. Hmm. You have someone to follow him? He's holed up at a marauder camp just north of O'Leary Mountain. I think you know where that is. No, but I'll find him. Deacon St. John. Killed. Who was it? The young kid. Everyone called him Gopher. Never knew his real name. Gopher. How old was he? Like I said, a kid. 19, 20. No idea how he lasted this long. But he was a good kid. Why are you asking? No reason. If you spent more time at the camp, got to know folks. Maybe you'd find a reason. Cope out. Please, mister. <laughs> Just come out and drop your weapons. <laughs> It's done. You won't be hearing from Ned Walker again. Bring me his bandana. St. John, it's okay. okay. Go out. Yeah, of course you do. Nice work. Lost more than a few men trying to hunt down that son of a bitch. Next time, just come to me. You volunteering? Never thought I'd see the day. My bike. Go see Manny. If you got enough camp credits, he'll fix you right up. Deacon St. John. How you doing, buddy?
Curtis. St. John. Clark Copeland and Deacon St. John. Hey, Cope, what's up? Just checking in. A couple of my men were up to the top of O'Leary Mountain the other day. Said they found a safe house set up in an old Forest Service watchtower. Is that right? Yes, sir, that's what I'm told. They said it was abandoned, but funny thing. Whoever lived there left behind a bike. Good shape, too, by the sound of it. Really? Indeed. But that's not the funny thing. The funny thing is they went back up there today to pick it up, but the bike was gone. Now, ain't that a hit-scratcher? Look, Cope, this is all really fascinating, but, uh... Now, hold on. Here's the fascinating part. They swear that old bike, well, it looked a lot like the one Boozer used to ride. Okay, so let me get this straight, Cope. You guys went up to O'Leary Mountain. You found what you thought was Boozer's bike. And the first thing you thought of was, hey, why don't we just go back and steal it? Salvage, Deke. Salvage. But no, that was my second thought. My first was, whatever happened to old Boozer? Manny says he hasn't seen him around for some time. I don't know, Cope. Next time I see him, I'll let him know how much you miss him. St. John out! Deke, thanks for stopping by. What's going on? Remember Larson? The guy who spotted that cow in Marion Forks? The one I told you about? Yeah, I remember. Well, he went back out there to see what else he can find. He hasn't come back. We think he's been taken by a group of drifters who've been moving through the Belknap wilderness. Shit, where was he last seen? A building on the east side of town, the old Wagon Hotel. Yeah, I know the one. Thanks, Teak. I appreciate it. Hey, Deacon, right? We got gas if you need it. Bike's a real guzzler. Okay. <laughs> See ya. I got it. Stay safe out there. Yeah, uh, I found them and they won't be coming back. You seem like it's getting worse. A lot of squatters and drifters we got coming through. No offense to present company. I'll take it.
Mine now. Hey, Larson, how are you holding up? St. John, you know, I thought I'd come into town, find a drink, hang out with my buds. As soon as I cut you loose, you get the hell out of here. Oh, you don't gotta tell me twice. I don't know where the hell you came from, but Jesus, man. Go, run. Mr. Talk you there. John. Found Larson. He should be on his way back to the hot springs. Nice job. I'll have the Alki keep a look for him. More rippers have been spotted moving north into Belknap. We need all the men we can get. Tucker out. <laughs> you two were always so close. Yeah. You really were like a brother and sister. It's like Boozer says, I hear a bunk calling my name. I was ready to go back at it. Deacon St. John, how have you been? Hey, Buzz. All right, I got you. Don't beat her up too bad. Yeah, good part, that one.
Yeah, that'll last you. I'll be here, if you need me. Should have new shit later. Stop by. You here to buy something? Yeah, Addy, what's up? Can you stop by the infirmary when you get a chance? Anything wrong? No, but you're just still breathing. To to uh, yeah, okay. Who's in my classroom? Here, I got it. Thank you there. I got out of the infirmary today, man. Addy said she'd heard enough of my whining that it last her a lifetime. Sounds like Addy. How's the arm? You know, it's about 50% there. <laughs> there. Sorry. Seriously, it's like I can still feel my right hand. I think they call that phantom. Farm duty. I'm gonna see if I can uh, pay off these damn pain meds that Addy has me on. Later. Later. Another Nero injector. Good. Oh, what the hell happened here? I don't know. Wonder if they left anything worth the effort. Mm. Ow. Feeling stronger already. Fuel can. Boos, are you there? Yeah, dude. How you doing, brother? Same as always. You still out there chasing choppers? Duck, hey, okay. I'll see if I can make time Deacon out. Hey Deacon, you got a second? How's William? I haven't seen him lately. How's Boozer? How the hell are any of us? He's surviving. Yeah, well then he's doing better than most. Yeah. Listen, you need to keep an eye on him. What do you mean? Well, losing an arm is a big adjustment. He's given up the life he had. <sighs> Wasn't much of a life, Addy. I... You're his friend. The only one he's got. Hey, booze, man. How's it work? I got work to do. <laughs> Later. Shit. 
Shit. I think I found something. Never mind. Just a rock. at the gate. This is Radio Open Free Oregon. The, the truth it. shall set you free. Broke another goddamn razor this morning. In our supposed global utopia, instead of getting the best products from around the world, we got the shittiest products cheap foreign labor could churn out. Everything in the last 50 years with can't do a lot of camping, he said. Okay. That's your best bet. Right there. I don't know about that, Mike. We lost people in there before. We, lo we lost who? When? A few weeks back. Torres and Evans, looking for supplies. I told you that no, they were... No, goddammit, you didn't! I told you that we went after them, but the entrance ah. was caved in. Their bikes were outside, but the place was crawling. Do you remember? I don't even know if they made it inside. What's the trouble? Uh, we just... We're going over the papers, the ones from Sherman's camp. Mm -hmm. There's a mine that was getting ready to expand. Sure, and there's probably explosives stored on site. Yeah. Except now Schizo tells me we may have lost two men on the inside. Hey, I never said that, Mike. Well, look, I, just, give me the map, I'll go get the explosives, and Mike, hey, the people will. inside. What the hell is going you on? You may trust him, Mike, but I don't. Tell me. How much is Tucker paying for a box of TNT these days, No, but you huh? hold on. He's doing his part. Oh, really? He's doing what? Besides breaking the treaty with the Rippers, skipping work, staying out with Ricky all day, what's he been doing, huh? What you been doing, huh? Sitting on your ass while everyone does all the work. I keep this camp safe. Mm. From marauders, thieves, and drifters. Don't you knock it off. Knock it off! Hey, you don't trust him? You go with him. You remember some- Both of you, remember! We are all part of the same camp! That's fine. Fine by me. In the morning, we'll take our bikes and we'll go. We'll go right now. <sighs> now. Yeah. Now. In the middle of the night. Sure. You know, it's dark out. There'll be less freaks inside the mine. Oh, that's right. Oh, since you've been skipping work, you've been chasing that black choppers, and now you're some kind of freak expert. Don't need it? to be a fucking expert to know the freaks come out at night. Oh, okay. yeah? Come on, enough already! Okay. Okay. You want to go now? We'll go now. But I'll hold on to this. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Hey, look, he's got his issues, just like everybody else does. But he does his job. <laughs> it's all out to Torres and Evans. Deke, I guess I'm just making sure he's not gonna have some kind of accident down in that mine. Oh, Jesus, Mike, who do you think I am? I'm still trying to figure that out. See you when you get back. Son of a bitch. Where are we going? Lucky lad, know where it is? Yeah. <clears throat> I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, try to keep up. Deacon, you there? This is Lost Lake Camp. Over. Yeah, Ricky. What's up? I stopped by to see you. Obviously, you're not there. Skizzo and I are in a run for Iron Mike. We'll be back by morning. What's up? I just wanted to see when we could get out and fix that transformer. <laughs> that hot shower is still calling your name? Something like that. <laughs> we'll be back by morning. Talk then. Beacon out. The 
thought you were gonna be waiting for me. I got sidetracked. So these belong to Mike's men? My men? But yeah. Torres and Evans. They weren't drifters, but they'd been out in the shit a few times. I thought they could handle it. I guess you were wrong. Shit's already been parted out. Goddamn scavengers everywhere. Skizza, why wouldn't you bring their shit back with you when you were out here looking for them? Because there were too many freaks. <laughs> That's why. Like them. Only a lot more. Come on. Now Mike said the explosives are kept locked in strong boxes. Should be a set of spare keys somewhere inside the office. Fucking dudes. God, I hate those little suckers. We finally agree on something. Hey, over here. I think I can boost you onto this roof. Ready? Up you go! Okay? Yeah. Thanks for asking. This is not gonna open. There. Schizo! I got him. Great, great. Look around. Uh, see if you can find some flare. What? Wait a second. You didn't bring a flashlight? Yeah, but the batteries are dead. Shit's getting hard to find these days. At least ones that have any juice left. Flares. Schizo! I found a box of flares. Yeah, see if you can force open the door. I'll come in and grab them. Flares are over here. Yeah. Give me the keys. What, you mean like these keys? Yeah, kind of. Hey, 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 I got an idea. How about you lead us to the strong boxes? I'll unlock them. You got a problem with that? No problem. Just don't lose them. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to keep that in mind. I got them. Let's head in. Right behind you.
See? It's just like I said. Looks like we should be able to squeeze in through here. Give me a hand. Here, push. I'm pushing, I'm pushing. There. Wedge it against that boulder. Oh, got it. There. <sighs> Looks stable to you. Stable enough. Remember, keep your gun holstered. I thought you said it was gonna be clear. I never said that. And I mean it, if there are any freaks in here, one shot will bring them right down on their heads. I heard you already. Jesus. Okay, first expansion area is right off the main shaft. Come on this way. Right behind you. Ah, shit, we're not getting none of that. Look at the map. Is there another tunnel? A ventilation shaft? Map shows they started a connecting tunnel here. Looks like it was unstable, so they boarded it up. Where? Uh, back this way. Here? Yeah. Yeah, looks like they boarded it up. Doesn't look exactly stable. I thought I already said that. All I got is this. You got the flashlight. Remember, keep your gun holstered. I thought you said it was gonna be clear. I never said that. And I mean it, if there are any freaks in here, one shot will bring them right down on their heads. I heard you already. Jesus. Okay, first expansion area is right off the main shaft. Come on this way. Right behind you. Ah, shit, we're not getting none of that. Look at the map. Is there another tunnel? Ventilation shaft. Map shows they started a connecting tunnel here. Looks like it was unstable, so they boarded it up. Where? Uh, back this way. Here? Yeah. Yeah, looks like they boarded it up. Doesn't look exactly stable. I thought I already said that. All I got is this. You got the flashlight. You had the honors. <laughs> Maybe there's a reason that they never completed any of this expansion work. I mean, it seems like one stick of dynamite will bring this whole place down on our heads. Uh, it doesn't seem so bad. This shit now! Come on. This way. What are you doing? What's it look like? We dropped them flint. Why? You got the map. This thing's a fucking maze. Gonna need help knowing which tunnels we checked. What? 
easier, man. Yeah. Every time I saw Torres, he had on this same damn vest. Kept telling him, wear bright orange, he's gonna get you killed, bro. I guess it didn't matter here. His buddy lost the arm, blood out, and kept Torres fed for a week. We'll have a resort to that. A few lines I haven't crossed, that's one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh... Stand back. I'm not leaving them for the freaks. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. This is it. Come on, we can squeeze through here. Following you. That's a tight squeeze. You got this? Who sits on his ass all day in the camp? Oh, very funny. Come on. Okay, the first expansion area should be around this corner. If you're reading the map right. I'm reading it right. See? You still got the keys? Yeah, right here. Sorry, did you not believe me? Sure, I believe you. Come on. Maybe they put them all in one place. Go check the other one. This way. Let's double back. Make sure we didn't miss any side totals. Excuse me, hold, hold up, hold up. This doesn't seem right. What? What are you talking about? This isn't the way that we came in. What? You think these flares got up and moved themselves? Yeah, maybe I got turned around. Well, now, wait a minute, God damn it! This is the main tunnel. What? It's the, it's the main tunnel! You see the tracks? We weren't following any tracks on our way in. What the hell? But, but these are my flares, damn it. How did it... Oh, someone's fucking with us. Come on, this way. Hold up, hold up. Wait a second. Who the hell's in here? Come on out! Show yourself! Excuse me, put that thing away. What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is one shot. One. It's all it takes to bring all the freaks in these tunnels down on top of us. Well, I thought you said these tunnels will be clear this time. No. Ah! What the hell? Ah! Look out! You can't get a shot! Oh, God damn it! God damn it, it's got the keys! Shit! Where you going? It's got the keys! We gotta catch you! Hey! Come back! God damn it, Skizzo! It's getting away! Stop shooting! 
happen if you fired your weapon? What was I supposed to do? Throw rocks at him? You're supposed to do is you're supposed to fucking listen to me. Next time, try this. Whatever. You're welcome. For what? For saving your ass. If you hadn't run off, my ass wouldn't need saving. <laughs> Are you ready to fucking finish this? Yeah, I'm ready. This way. Rose off. Addy said it looked like someone tried to burn his tax off. It was Rippers, wasn't it? You got a point, Schizo? Had a drifter coming. Word's gone out. Rippers are looking for two men. Mongrels? Sound like anyone you know? Well, as you can see, I'm still wearing the cut. We're not hiding, Schizo. Carlos wants Boozer. He won't have any trouble finding him. But he's gonna have to go through me first. What'd you do to him? Gotta be something long before breaking the treaty. Long before? You know what? I don't know and I don't care. Have I killed a few rippers in my day? You're goddamn right I have. And after what they did to Boozer, I'm gonna go right on killing the crazy sons of bitches. Yeah? And Carlos is crazier than any. <gasps> you don't want to be on this shit list, bro. What'd I just say? I don't care. And I'm not your bro. Remember what I told Iron Mike? Carlos can go fuck himself. Hey, just looking out for you. You're one of us now, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Don't worry about me and Boozer. We can look out for ourselves. Bingo. Let me see. Ah, nice. This ought to make the old man happy. It's heavy. What are you talking about? You know the old man. Same with me. I got this. Thanks. He thinks that his treaty with the Rippers is gonna keep us safe. The thing is, they don't give a shit about any treaty. The only reason they haven't come down here in force is because they're too busy up north, hitting Copeland, the hot springs. Yeah, I know I was there. You know what I'm talking about. The Rippers are coming. And Iron Mike, he's just gonna let it happen. He's gonna let those bald-headed freak alikes wash over us like a goddamn red tide. Excuse so you don't know that. So glad to see the light of day. Shit, something else we agree on. That's twice in one day. Hold up for a second. There's someone out there. Hey, bike. Someone's inside. Hey, what the you're hell? riding out there. Oh. Sit in your pants. Come on now. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Find him. 
Mister, my boy's got a little rambunctious. I All right, uh, split up. Jumpy out we'll surround them. Ah, give it to him! You got it! Lay it into him! Shoot the assholes! Ah, give it to him! I think that's all the bastards. Yeah. yeah. Come on. We gotta get that box of dynamite. Must have been the same assholes who parted out the bikes. Ride by and they see ours. I figured they'd make an easy score. I guess it wasn't as easy as they'd hoped. You know, I hate to say it, but we actually make a good team. Well, then don't say it. Hey, there's something I gotta say. When you and Boozer rolled into camp and Iron Mike welcomed you back again with goddamn open arms, I thought it was another sign the old man was losing it. Going soft. Okay, what's your point, Scott? My point is that you and me, we see eye to eye. I get that now. You know, same as me. If Iron Mike don't wake the hell up, the camp's not gonna last another six months. Okay, still waiting for your point. Look, I know I've been busting your balls. We both know that. But a lot of people know what you've done. For your friend. How you've been doing shit for the camp. Changes are coming, brother. When Iron Mike retires, let's call it. I say you and me, we step up and run the camp together. You and me. Run the camp. <laughs> That's really what you wanted to talk hey, to me about. Hey, hear me out, goddammit. <laughs> Just listen to me a minute. Uh -huh. Look, I got a lot of friends on the camp council, and they agree. Most of them say the old man's gotta go. Yeah, it's bullshit because Ricky would never go for well, She's as soft as the old Mike man. And trusts you. Well, that's his mistake. One of many. Well, it ain't gonna be mine. Look, we all do things to survive, CSO. I get that. You remember how I said there's some lines I ain't crossed? Stabbing a friend in the back? That's one of them. Better one old man in the entire camp. You think about that. Here. Yeah, Skizzo. Think about that. Jesus, why would Iron Mike ever try? Where's Boozer? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I thought he was with you. Yeah, he was, and then he, he took off. Some shit. Skizzo, what the fuck are you telling me? Get off me! Look, he grabbed a bottle of whiskey, he said he was going home. I don't know. Motherfucker, and you didn't even try to stop him, did you? Hey! We tried! You gotta know when to cut a man loose. You gotta know when a man's done. <laughs> 